Hello YouTube, my name is Sam, and in this video I'm going to talk about the Tiger Shark LMG, the new DLC weapon in Call of Duty Black Ops 4. First of all, we're going to check the damage profile of the Tiger Shark, and we're going to examine the effects of different attachments on the damage profile. Then we're going to examine other attributes of this weapon like fire rate, time to kill, sprint out time, and how different attachments available for this weapon will affect its behavior and these attributes. I should mention that all the numbers that you're seeing are the result of me hand testing this weapon. I do not have access to the game files or in-game data, and I'm not using other people's data, so there might be a slight difference between my numbers and the actual coded game data but I did my best to create an error-free video for you guys. Okay, let's check the damage profile. A great thanks to Exclusive Ace for giving me the idea of how to measure the distances in this game. I did not use his footage for my video, but I got the measuring idea from him, so again, thanks to him. Alright. The Tiger Shark deals 38 damage close to mid-range and it drops down to 30 in long ranges. The 38 damage range is 50 meters and after that 50 meter range it will deal 30 damage to the enemy player. So it is going to be a 4 to 5 shot kill weapon assuming that the enemy player does not have body armor and his health is not boosted by crash. If you are playing a hardcore game mode, it will always be a one-shot kill weapon unless the enemy player's health is boosted by crash or he is using a body armor and is someplace far away from you, like across the map. The headshot multiplier for this weapon is 1.1, so it will deal 41 to 33 damage if you are not using high caliber and it won't change the number of shots needed to kill the enemy even if you hit the enemy's head with all of your shots. The high caliber attachment will increase the headshot multiplier to 1.47, so it will deal 56 to 44 damage. Now if your enemy is within your 50 meter radius, you can kill him with 3 shots instead of 4 if you hit at least two of your shots to his head. And if your enemy is beyond your 50 meter radius, you can kill him with four shots instead of five if you hit at least three of your shots to his head. So using high caliber attachment is definitely going to help you, but you need to be a little bit accurate and try to aim for the head. What if your enemy is using body armor? Let's assume that you are not using FMJ. If your enemy is within your 50 meter radius and wearing a body armor, your first two bullets will deal 19 damage and the third one will destroy the armor and deal 37 damage. So you're going to need 5 shots to kill the enemy. And if you are using FMJ, you'll be able to completely destroy the enemy's body armor with your first shot and it will deal 38 damage. It means using FMJ will completely neglect enemy's body armor like he is not even using it. If your enemy is beyond your 50 meter radius and wearing a body armor, your first two bullets will deal 15 damage and the third one will destroy the body armor and deal 21 damage. So you're going to need 7 shots to kill the enemy. Yes, you heard me right, you will need 7 shots to kill that body armor user. So in this case, you'll need not one, but two extra shots to kill that enemy because the standard number of shots to kill in this range is 5. And if you're using FMJ, again, it will completely neglect enemy's body armor, like he's not even using it, and you will be able to kill him with 5 shots. Using the suppressor attachment will cut all your ranges in half. 
meaning your four shot to kill range is going to be 25 meters and anything beyond that 25 meter range is going to be a five shot to kill. Now let's check the fire rate. I tried very hard to pinpoint the exact number and the result of my calculations was 530 rounds per minute for Tiger Shark's fire rate. This weapon does not have rapid fire attachment, so that will be your fire rate all the time. Now, according to what we know from the damage profile and the fire rate of this weapon, we can calculate the time to kill. The time to kill for 50 meter range is something around 340 milliseconds and beyond that range is 450 milliseconds. Not a bad TTK for an LMG. Let's check the sprint out time. If you don't know, sprint out time is the time it takes to break the sprint and start firing your weapon and it is around 350 milliseconds and it can be reduced to something around 220 milliseconds if you are using Gunko perk. If you didn't know, you can cut the sprint out time almost to zero if you use Gunko perk and aim down sight and fire your weapon at the same time. If you're using stock 1 attachment, you will get 72.5% of your normal walking speed with this weapon while you're not aiming. And if you're using both stock 1 and 2 attachments, you will get 78.2% of your normal walking speed with this weapon while you're not aiming. So using that second stock attachment won't help you that much. Now let's talk about recoil. This is me shooting this weapon without the grip attachment. This is me shooting this weapon with the grip attachment. As you can see, the grip attachment is pretty useless in close to mid-range gunfights. In my opinion, this weapon has a relatively low recoil and because it is mostly vertical, it can be controlled pretty easy, but if you're going to engage a long-range gunfight, using the grip attachment is definitely going to help you. Finally, I'm going to suggest some class setups for the Tiger Shark. My first class setup is a kind of Russian class. If you're an aggressive rusher, you can definitely use this class setup. ELO, stock 1, fast mag and high caliber for the attachments. You can use FMJ instead of high caliber or fast mag if you want. For your gear, I suggest stim shot because you're going to rush your enemy and you're going to engage some close range gunfights so being able to heal yourself as fast as possible after you get shot is essential. For your perks, I suggest using scavenger, gung-ho and dead silence. My second class is a support class setup, so you can stay behind and hold those objectives and support your teammates while they are trying to rush. ELO, high caliber and FMJ for your attachments. Of course, you can use some ranged scope, but I will suggest ELO. Take a launcher with you so you can destroy enemies' streaks and gain more score towards your own streaks. Comsec device for your gear so you can get your streaks faster, therefore you're able to be a better help to your team. 
For your perks, I suggest using Engineer, because if you're going to go for those streaks, I suggest using a care package. And with the Engineer perk, you will be able to reroll what's inside the care package. Dead Silence and Tracker are going to help you as well, but you can pick any other perks that you want instead of Tracker. That is your choice. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new, and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I wish you all having a great time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.